The Gospel According to Mark, Chapter 1 The Beginning of the Gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God As it is written in Isaiah the prophet, See, I am sending my messenger ahead of you. He will prepare your way. A voice of one crying out in the wilderness, Prepare the way for the Lord. Make his paths straight. John came baptizing in the wilderness and proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. The whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem were going out to him, and they were baptized by him in the Jordan River, confessing their sins. John wore a camel hair garment with a leather belt around his waist and ate locusts and wild honey. He proclaimed, One who is more powerful than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop down and untie the strap of his sandals. I baptize you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. In those days, Jesus came from Nazareth in Galilee and was baptized in the Jordan by John. As soon as he came up out of the water, he saw the heavens being torn open and the Spirit descending on him like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, You are my beloved Son. With you I am well pleased. Immediately the Spirit drove him into the wilderness. He was in the wilderness forty days, being tempted by Satan. He was with the wild animals, and the angels were serving him. After John was arrested, Jesus went to Galilee, proclaiming the good news of God. The time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe the good news. As he passed alongside the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and Andrew, Simon's brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. Follow me, Jesus told them, and I will make you fish for people. Immediately they left their nets and followed him. Going on a little farther, he saw James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John in a boat, putting their nets in order. Immediately he called them, and they left their father Zebedee in the boat with the hired men and followed him. They went into Capernaum, and right away he entered the synagogue on the Sabbath and began to teach. They were astonished at his teaching, because he was teaching them as one who had authority, and not like the scribes. Just then, a man with an unclean spirit was in their synagogue. He cried out, What do you have to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus rebuked him, saying, Be silent, and come out of him. And the unclean spirit threw him into convulsions, shouted with a loud voice, and came out of him. They were all amazed. And so they began to ask each other, What is this, a new teaching, with authority? He commands even the unclean spirits, and they obey him. At once the news about him spread throughout the entire vicinity of Galilee. As soon as they left the synagogue, they went into Simon and Andrew's house with James and John. Simon's mother-in-law was lying in bed with a fever, and they told him about her at once. So he went to her, took her by the hand, and raised her up. The fever left her, and she began to serve them. When evening came, after the sun had set, they brought to him all those who were sick and demon-possessed. The whole town was assembled at the door, and he healed many who were sick with various diseases, and drove out many demons. And he would not permit the demons to speak, because they knew him. Very early in the morning, while it was still dark, he got up, went out, and made his way to a deserted place. And there he was, praying. Simon and his companions searched for him, and when they found him, they said, Everyone is looking for you. And he said to them, Let's go on to the neighboring villages, so that I may preach there, too. This is why I have come. He went into all of Galilee preaching in their synagogues and driving out demons. Then a man with leprosy came to him and, on his knees, begged him, If you are willing, you can make me clean. 
Moved with compassion, Jesus reached out his hand and touched him. I am willing, he told him. Be made clean. Immediately, the leprosy left him, and he was made clean. Then he sternly warned him and sent him away at once, telling him, See that you say nothing to anyone, but go and show yourself to the priest and offer what Moses commanded for your cleansing as a testimony to them. Yet he went out and began to proclaim it widely and to spread the news, with the result that Jesus could no longer enter a town openly. But he was out in deserted places, and they came to him from everywhere.